What is up guys, Toxic Snowmill here bringing you a Minecraft tutorial on how to make a Forge Bucket plugin. The first step is to open up your browser, your web browser. Is it gonna work? There. And then go search MCPC plus, oh. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> MCPC Plus. It'll be the first one. Click on that. Keep. Wait for it to just finish downloading real quick. Okay. Drag it to your desktop real quick. You can just exit out of that for the time being. And then just make a folder. I'll name it Forge Bucket Server. Very creative. And put that in there. And once you're in there, make a new text document. Name doesn't really matter right now. And what you're going to have to put in there is this. Exactly word, well, almost word for word. And then just copy this for now. And then put it in here save as start dot bat or run dot bat or whatever thing whatever you want to call it dot bat but this is the file that you run to open up this file and the text document you can just delete right now then rename this wherever you want I just mcpc for easy for convenience and you're going to need to edit this again. This file right here is, you have to name this exactly, you have to name this right here exactly what you named this. Because it runs that. And, and then there you go. It's going to run your server right now. Just wait. The first time is always the longest time for this to work. Just give it a little bit of time. Okay, now that that's done, you can just do stop. And press that to continue. Okay, right now, this is your server. If you just want to play alone with no one else then you don't need a port forward to use Hamachi or anything like that you're good just use localhost the next step go to google chrome again you're gonna need to install forge onto your minecraft client right now so forge down load okay right here they're gonna want to do the recommended 1.6.2 you can also do the latest 1.6.2, but I recommend the recommended. So then, just stay on this page. Continue. All of that won't be as hard if you don't have ad block like I do. I'm just going to exit out of that real quick. Oh, um, then the forge right there, exit out of this, I'm going to open this up, I made a clean dot minecraft folder just for you guys, I need to, I need to run it brand new for it to generate, okay, now you can just exit out because it's a newly generated one you don't have to newly generate now to get to your dot minecraft well you don't have to get to your dot minecraft right now click on the forge installer install client and make sure it's dot minecraft okay easy as that forge is installed and now let's try mods real quick 
Okay. For this, um, Minecraft mods. No, I'm going to do Battle Towers. 1.6.2 I'm a big fan of this mod I use it and I just like it creates big towers everywhere this will be our test mod and then we'll follow the downloads removed and Battle towers. Download. And then continue. Same old, same old. Skip add. Battle towers. And then I'll just put that there for now. And then uh, exit out of that, and then because uh, okay, and then skip bad. Oh, yeah, I just did that. And let's install a plugin. Let's do essentials. Almost every server should have this. It is a very useful plugin. Oh my god. What's up guys? It's uh turn Oh wait, wrong thing. There. Download. Download. This is a very useful plugin. It allows you access to so many more commit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yes, I am cheap. I don't have all that. No, I'm just exit out of here. <coughs> Open up here. In the plugins, you just put all these plugins. In there, every single plugin that you want goes inside the plugins folder. Easy as that. Make sure to dot jar, and then simple, same like that. The mod. I'm just make sure this is the right thing. No, actually, this is the right. No, this is. No. This is the right thing right here. This actual mod, and this goes inside here as well every single mod that goes in this mod file has to be exactly like your dot minecraft is it gonna oh I accidentally opened up runescape didn't I and then then percent app data percent and then Then drop Minecraft. Cause uh, that wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, actually, I actually never ran Minecraft with Forge yet, which I need to. The profile for Forge should be there. Just same account play. There goes the mods folder. It's what we wanted. I know. Let's just make sure Forge worked perfectly. It did. You can exit out of that. In the same mod, goes inside here. And your dot Minecraft folder. Close out of that. And now you can just run this server with your start. Okay. 
the way plugins are, plugins are server wide, which means that only the server needs them. And mods, every mod in here, every other person on the server needs the mod. Plugins only the server needs to have the plugin. You get the point. And there's some mods that only the person needs. I'm pretty sure there's some mods that are client wide that only the server needs, but you can dive into the specifics. I'm on first to options and then review settings. GUI. Brightness up. And then sensitivity down. Those are just the main things I'm going to do real quick. This is only a demonstration. And then add server. If you're hosting it on your computer, all you need to do is local host. And then it will pick up the server. Any server that you're on, on your computer, you can just do local host to find it. <coughs> okay. Now, let's just wait for everything to be over real quick. Oh, and options. 90. That's something that. It's normally not laggy, just give a second. Okay, well. This is it, and through here is where you it's the easiest way to opt yourself you can go into the files and stuff i'm just gonna opt myself real quick see council opt one five nine seven six three two that's me <coughs> i'm gonna do gm see and then if and so slash plug ins Okay, those are the five plugins that we added. All of the essential plugins right there. And then, does mods work? No, mods doesn't work like that. But if we find a battle tower that proves that it works. Speed 10. And that is the... That is a battle tower. It's a little short. Let's find a bigger one. I mean, if it's, it's the f keep in mind, this is the first time that this server has ever had chunks loaded, so it might be a little laggy at first. And if it's laggy, you can put more RAM into it by changing that in the start.bat folder. And if if we're just on an island, then. I'm trying to find another battle tower for you guys. That's a different one. Man, I want to find a good one to show you guys that this actually worked. Not just a shitty small one. Here one is. <laughs> it's layers of mob spawners and then at the top there's a golem. <laughs> Well, that's about it, guys. This is how it does. If, if you want to get other people on your server, then you have to need a port forward. Down out, it's kind of loud. You need a port forward. There's literally hundreds of tutorials out there. Find one for your specific thing. I have Verizon. I port forward so my friends cannot g can get on my server. And in the end, it's just you. If this is just for yourself and you just want plugins. I don't understand why you'd want that. Then I don't know. This is just all your choice. Well. Um. Yeah. That's how you do it. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And bye.